Viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Free Space Blue Planet, Age of Aquarius. When we last left off, the source of Earth's destruction was revealed to be the Lucifer, which I was pretty sure I blew up. I mean, it took me a few tries, but I blew it up in the end, that's what counted. Which means either the Shivans have another Lucifer, or I didn't blow up the Lucifer. I don't know, I'm a little confused, but that's probably the point. They just revealed all the mysteries, that would, you know, not be as fun to play. But, with that in mind, we're going to continue on with our next mission. Let's see what kind of a follow-up they have for that. To the officers and crew of the GTD Orestes, our work here is finished. We came here on an intelligence gathering mission, but are left with more questions than when we started. We traveled here to make contact with Earth, only to find there is no Earth to make contact with. All that is left in this system is death and memories of what used to be. The Shivans were responsible for the death of our world, leaving no survivors. They arrived, destroyed our ships and bombarded Earth, Mars, and every colony in the system. The remnants of the Shivan attack force were encountered and destroyed by our reconnaissance flights. Even after our work here, the hard questions remain. How did the Shivans enter this system? When did the attack occur? Why did our probes send back false information? Then I'd say our work isn't done. Those are three really good questions, don't you think? We're gonna try to answer those at all? GTVA Command has not responded to any of our transmissions. Furthermore, we have lost contact with the GTC Duke, who has not returned from Delta Serpentis. I have thus ordered the fleet to move back through the node. All future reconnaissance flights are cancelled, and all fighters are to return to dock. Now is the time to grieve. It is now time to share news of this tragedy with the rest of the lost generation. That's... Oh, here you go. For the attention of Commander Samuel Day, your transfer request to the Orseus has been approved. It will take place upon successful arrival to Delta Serpentis. I must admit to some surprise and relief upon your return to the Orestes after the Shivan ambush. I am sure your mother would have been very proud of you. I know we both have had our differences in the past, but your mother would not have wished this rift between us. Send me a communique when you have the chance. Aww. Admiral Dad does care. That last one? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, are they actually pulling out? Because Admiral Bay came up with three really good questions there. We should probably try to answer before we leave. We've got the situation, pilots. One hour ago, the Orestes and her battle group exited from the Sol Jump Node. Centaur Station and the Sol Portal are nowhere to be found. We are also unable to get in contact with GTVA Command. Admiral Bay has ordered a red alert until the current situation has been resolved. Oh, great. We've picked up the GTC Duke on long-range sensors heading towards the Ross 128 Jump Node. She's not responding to our hails, and has not shifted course. This qualifies as desertion under the GTVA Security Convention, and thus the Duke and her captain are considered rogue. We are sending a wing out to apprehend the Duke before she jumps through the node. Bay, you are the most experienced pilot in this squadron. You will be taking Taylor and Quarry as Alpha Wing. In case the Duke jumps out before you, you are to follow the Duke through to Ross 128. To this end, the Orestes flight deck has prepared jump-capable fighters for you to fly. Wow. Try to keep them intact, will you? That's impressive. So ships, fighters, bombers, can jump inter-system. So they can jump, you know, between the different places around the system. They can do short-range jumps. Using jump nodes like this, though, is pretty rare. I've seen it before, but not often. Average, average, maneuverability. Ooh, you know, kind of want to take. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the Aurora fighters. Yeah, 
I liked these guys when I played them. They don't quite have the same top speed. But... Yeah. Oh, I still can't use my super fighters. Can you act the Irides? Um, actually, I'm gonna keep a pair of Baylors, if that's okay with you. Hornets and... No, 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 I want... Yeah. Sorry, guys, you're taking everyone, everything I'm taking. Here we go! RSD's control, we have a visual on the Duke. She is 5 kilometers from the Ross 128 jump node. Alpha 1 to the GTC Duke. You are ordered to power down your engines. Do this immediately, or we will disable you by force. This will be your only warning. That's what the hell was that? Good question. RSD's control, the Duke has sent a transmission. We are unable to determine the message. Confirm. Over. Confirmed, Alpha Wing. It looks like encrypted transmission data. Attempting to decrypt it now. The GTC Duke has not halted its progress to the node. Corey, Taylor, target the Duke's engines. Open fire! What the? We've got human fighters jumping in. Alpha Wing, engage evasive maneuvers. With pleasure. What the hell are Shivans doing in Delta Serpentis? Mentors. Oh, hell, they got beam cannons. Okay, it's clearly shooting back now. Oh, didn't even have my power either. Break! You've got a hostile on you! Not bad, sir. You Whoa, came. I'm about to go down. Yep, I'm going down. Come on. Sorry about not keeping this fighter in one piece, buddy. Get a ah oh, hell dragons. The Duke made it out. The Duke has escaped through the jump node. Acknowledge, pilots. Jumping after her, but be careful. We're sending the Temeraire after you into Ross 128. She'll be supporting your operation there. Orestes control out. Yeah, with my one percent hull. Oh God, please don't let this be a Red Alert mission. Please, please, please. <laughs> oh, this is so not good. I mean, I'm not used to flying a fighter this maneuverable after flying around in the Ares the last few missions I did at the end of Free Space 2. For anyone who's watching this later on, past, you know, when I actually posted it, I finished Free Space 2 and then went directly to this. So. But I guess we're following the Duke. Yeah, that's a lot of fire. Okay, next mission. Here we go. It, this is a red alert, isn't it? Personal log, Commander Bay. A lot has happened. None of it seems real. Ever since we went through the portal, everything has just been one big nightmare. A dead Earth, Sheevans the disappearance of Centaur Station and Command, and now the GTC Duke, whose crew seems to have either mutinied or gone plain crazy. What was that message they sent us? As I write this entry, my fighter wing is about to enter Ross 128 to apprehend the Duke. GTVA forces in the area should be able to assist us. But somehow, I don't think there's going to be anyone there when we arrive. I think he's getting more genre savvy. Well, it's Red Alert viewers, so you know what? Let's keep going. We've reached Ross 128, unable to detect any GTVA forces in the area. Um, send you some wing. Hit your burners and target the Duke's engines. Oh, We've got a wing of Sheevan fighters. Astaroth. 
Free fire. We've got a Rakshasa cruiser jumping in too. What the hell is going on? Yeah, the Shemans were routed. They're supposed Nothing. to be trapped. We need to buy some time until our jump drives recharge. Engage those fighters. Shivor 1 has 40,000... What? I have Trebs and Tornadoes. And Kaisers? I'm in an Ares now. What the heck is going on? Hey, they're in an Ares. We didn't take these ships. Okay, this is pretty wacky. Very wacky. Can I call for... Nope, I can't call for more. I hear you, boss. This guy is mine. I like having the same wingman mission to mission. That's pretty neat. Yeah, they completely changed my loadout. That's gotta be a glitch. But hopefully the plot's the same. Oh, boy. Wish I actually had some trebs. Come in handy. You know, this is... This is the loadout from the last mission I flew in Free Space 2. That's just... bizarre. to disable it. I know it still says 40,000 on this thing. Yes, quick, take up its comm engines. Or its comm engines. Take up its comm. For look at that, did. Nuke its engines next. Little help over here. Me and the Shiva need to start seeing other people. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's a good line, this one so far, too. Take some engine, take some juice away from the engines. Not exactly in a hurry, and put it into shields and guns. Ugh, oh, taking a lot of shield power though. Yeah, just keep slamming power of the forward shield here. I think it's got to be ready to go. Oh yeah, nine percent. Whoa! I didn't get hit in that one. One percent. Just die. Little help over here. Me and the Shiva need to start seeing other there people. There you go. Well, that takes care of that trouble. Of course, now I'm totally out of tornadoes. Oh. Yeah, you guys have gotten kind of wrecked. So now what? This was waiting for a drive to re-engage. Yeah, not a single GTA ship anywhere. Like no station, nothing. This was head toward the node, I guess, because they're supposed to pursue the Duke. Weird little bug changing loadouts, although yay, Kaisers are back. The Ares is back. But I just ran myself right down out of missiles. Maybe it'll give me my engines back at the five minute mark? Is that the magic? Nope, that's not the magic number. Right, let's speed things up a bit and see what happens. Four times speed? How to do it? Eight times speed? Let's just space down here and see what happens. 
16 times speed? And how long did they expect me to fight these Shivans for, anyhow? 32 times speed. 64 times speed. Viewers, I don't think anything's gonna happen here. Let's just jump out and see what happens, shall we? Back to regular speed. Engine failure. It cannot engage jump drives. That's not good. Um... So it's been about 20 minutes of game time now, and, uh... No jump drive. Let's restart this, shall we? I think we've run into a bug. We've reached Ross 128, unable to detect any GTBA forces in the area. Alpha Wing, hit your burners and target the Duke's engines. Yeah, the Duke's not anywhere here. Alright, we've got a wing of Shaven fighters. Astaroth. Here you go. We're gonna bust out the killers here, viewers. We've got a rock Shasa cruiser jumping Sheets in. Enabled. What the hell is going on? Kaboom. Alpha Wing. We need to buy some time until our jump drives recharge. Engage those fighters. Alright, well that takes out care of all the fighters. Where the heck is the Duke? Viewers, this is no good. Let's quit this mission and try to continue the campaign and see if this gives us something different. Personal log. Go. No. Nope. We've reached Ross One Two Eight, unable to detect any GTBA forces in the area. You know what, viewers? I'll be back. Alpha Wing, hit your burner and target what's going the on here. engines. Reached Ross One Two Eight, unable to detect any GTBA forces in the area. Alpha Wing, hit your burners and target the Duke's engines. Alright, viewers, we're back. I just had to replay the last mission. That must have fixed whatever bug was going on. We've got a wing of fighters. Astaroth. We've got a rock Shasa cruiser jumping into. What the hell is going on? Alpha Wing, we need to buy some time until our jump drives recharge. Engage those fighters. See how well this thing flies. Oh, nice shot. Yep. The Duke has jumped. Damn it. How do they manage to recharge their engine so quickly? Victoring the Duke's destination. Looks like it's heading towards the Laramus jump zone. Timurath, how close are you to arriving? We are in transit through subspace, Alpha Wing. We will be arriving in the area in a few minutes. Continue to follow the Duke pilot. We'll be right behind you. Okay. Alpha Wing, subspace engines have recharged. Let's head out. Uh, I don't want to fight a cruiser. Call me a wuss. But alright, I guess that was the actual plot. The Duke didn't spawn the last time I did this, so that was probably the error. The Lotus did a bit better with my hull integrity this time around as well. So, that's a bonus. I guess we're chasing the Duke. It's making a lot of jumps. Whoa. Damn it to hell. How has the Duke managed to jump out so close to the node? I'm more concerned at how quickly they've been able to recharge their jump drive. Cruisers are not supposed to have comparable subspace maneuverability to fighters. Well, if you push your engines hard enough, it's possible. The engineer of the Duke must be a genius to keep it going this long. Still, they can't keep on like this. Their reactor's going to fail if it's placed under much more pressure. I don't remember there being an Orion Hulk in this system. Hell, I don't remember there being nobody in this system. Where the hell are we? Afoin, that Orion. It's the Minnow. Confirmed. Registry matches that of the GTD Minnow. No life signs aboard. She's been wrecked. I'm starting to think the universe is playing some kind of colossal joke on us. What the hell are you talking about? This isn't our universe. We're not supposed to be here. Taylor, Corey, enough. Jump out and follow me. We need to follow the Duke just a little while longer. We'll be back home before you know it. I'm buying Taylor's explanation. <laughs> I'm on board. This is not where we're supposed to be. All right, I've got to get to the jump note first before I can jump. 
I do like this chain sequence of events, though, like going from node to node. It really makes the galaxy feel very interconnected, just like when they show it in the galaxy maps, back in the briefings. Alpha Wing, we've reached the Ross 128 system. The Bretonia, La Bruchere, and Solus are with us. We're continuing to track your progress. Temeraire out. Yeah, I guess we're following the Duke. Personal Log, Commander Bay. The Duke continues to lead us on a wild chase. We followed it from Delta Serpentis to Ross 128, but somehow it outmaneuvered us and escaped into the Laramus system. From there, it continued to evade us to the N362 jump node. N362? Why the hell does it want to go there? Our official orders were to consider the behavior of the commanding officer as criminal and to apprehend the ship as such. Having chased the Duke through two systems, I'm starting to believe her crew's intentions are rooted more from insanity than mere insubordination. Sensor readings from my fighter wing revealed power fluctuations within the cruiser systems. If this is the case, then a reactor failure is indeed imminent. Something is not right about all of this. Why is Delta Serpentis, Ross 128, and Laramus empty of any GTVA vessels save for Great War Hulks? Why haven't we had contact with Command? What are Sheevans doing in our systems? <sighs> Taylor quipped about this not being our universe, but now I'm starting to believe her. Good for you, man, because I'm on board with what Taylor is putting down. I am picking it up because this is just crazy. But I guess this is another red alert, so hopefully this mission won't bug out on us. Here we go. There's the Duke. Yeah, Taylor? she's disabled. Corey, where are you? This is not right. I've emerged ten lighters away from your position, Alpha One. Crap, I don't even know where I am. Damn. Looks like the gravitational pull of the neutron star played havoc with our subspace engines. We're going to have to recalibrate our navigation computers. Huh? I don't think this fighter is the hardware for that, Alpha One. We'll have to stick tight and wait for the Tamaran. Where's the Duke? The Duke's right in front of me. Looks like I got lucky with regard to jumping in at the right place. Looks like I timed it right too. Her reactor's completely down. Finally! That's this useless goose chase. What are you going to do, sir? I'm going to board the Duke, ascertain the status of the crew. It's time for some answers. Roger, well, sir. Be careful. I was not expecting that at all. I will, Taylor. They got I'll here. keep my sidearm handy in case I meet any trouble from the crew. Eject and board the GTC Duke. Engines and weapons seem to be offline. No signs of power on her whatsoever. Should be a straightforward boarding procedure. Yeah, except it's. Oh, okay. Here we go. I didn't actually hit Alt A. Personal log, Commander Bay. The GTC Duke is a haunted ship. No one was there to greet me at the airlock when I broke through to the Duke's corridors. The entire ship was silent. My skin crawled as soon as I left my environment suit and the hair stood up at the back of my neck. I felt as though I was being watched as I made my way to the Duke's bridge. The crew were at their stations, but they were in some kind of stupor. Every one of them, including Captain Sasana, they didn't respond to my presence, they just sat there, with their sightless eyes staring. It sent chills down my spine just to look at them. They were alive, but not. As though something had taken away their souls, their essence, their psyche. And the ship, the ship seems possessed. I heard voices, ghostly footsteps down the hallways. The strange thing was, I recognized some of those voices. I've heard them before in my dreams. Those voices were manning the ship in place of the crew. Ancient, ancient voices. 
Something happened to the Duke and her crew in Delta Serpentis. Something that possessed the ship and drove the crew into Catatonia. There was nothing else I could do. I returned to my fighter and awaited the arrival of the Temeraire. Okay. Bay is losing it. He's completely losing it. I really hope this isn't going all event horizon on me here. <laughs> but, um, still red alert. So the Iron Man continues. Here we go.